Okay, gentlemen. Belt line is good there, belt line is good. You guys got my instructions in the back. Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to your corner, gentlemen. Hey, Leo Santa Cruz, who has held four titles in three weight classes, record of 35, one and one, with 19 knockouts, facing Rafael Rivera, 26, two and two. He's lost two of his last three bouts, both by decision, to opponents who are a combined 43 and 0. As we mentioned earlier, a late replacement three weeks ago for Miguel Flores, who suffered an ankle injury. Lucky for Rivera, he's fighting for the world title of the night, so. Put up a great fight, and. Rivera said, I am going to surprise. <laughs> Rivera trunks with black trim. Well, he threw a nice surprise left hook to the body and head, and uh, whipped off undefeated Joette Gonzalez. And because he came out sharp, he doesn't, he doesn't look like he needs to warm up that much. A huge opportunity on the big stage. So he'll start opening up later. Right now, he's just letting some punches bounce off his arms and his gloves. And then countering real nice. Yeah, reverse. Uh, both guys counter punching beautifully. He throws those body punches, but he puts those hands straight back up to his face and protects himself. And I thought Leo did a good job hitting the body. He landed several hooks to the liver. And there goes another right hand left hook to the body. He just went there twice already right there. So now when you touch him, oh, oh, beautiful left hook to the liver. You, you say natural, I say automatic. Automatic after he throws that left right. Come he once he gets touched, he's coming back with his own hook. Find some sharp punches as well. Eventually, those type of bodies wide open. And he just did it again, actually coming in, but he's keeping it real short. So Leo Santa Cruz, what the champ, that? going up against Rafael Rivera. And again, Santa Cruz, he's coming right back with left uppercut, right hand himself, two times in those openings, and trying to capitalize on counter punching. Ooh, those body shots are wicked by Santa Cruz. 30 seconds remaining. Sterling needs to place his punches a little bit better and be more accurate with his punches because he's just really just throwing his punches and, and... We're gonna get a little replay of that right uppercut. That was a beautiful right uppercut How did you see the first two rounds Joe? Well, it's all Santa Cruz right now. I mean I Rivera is countering. Cruz is just trying to break him down slowly coming at him. He's not boxing him like he said he was. He's actually putting pressure on him, backing him up. 19-19 on Larry Hazard's unofficial scorecard. Over the being uh, exactly effective, but they're sneaking in there a little bit. Big difference in this fight as well for Rivera. You know, he's a little shorter. He needs to either... A look at the punches landed here in the third round. But, you know, again, he's game. He's on Santa Cruz. We're headed from the Technological University of Tijuana with a degree in electronics. Lennox, um, Rivera being on the inside here, he just landed a nice, so he's, he's, he's got shorter arms. He's got to get in close to Rivera, uh, to Santa Cruz. That one. Punches, they aren't really solid punches. Well, not, yeah. not the guys that, he needs to move. Oh, yeah, because when he stands in front of him, he's taking big shots like that. To the yeah, right, right here. You know, he comes back with the but, you know, Santa Cruz has got that right hand up so good. And that's one of the great things about boxer as well. And he's got longer arms, so he's, yeah, especially in this weight class. Yeah. Joe mentioned Abner Morris. Santa Cruz defeated him twice in the 2015 PB for the WBA World Featherweight title. Ooh. Kate, along with Ray Mancini. Now we check in with Heidi Andrel. Heidi. Right with him, you know, like, uh, my father's like, it's kind of like a little bit kind of like. Perform for the crowd instead of being the smart fighters. We're welcoming in. 9 37. In round one, I gave the fight the, uh, the, bout, the round 
to reverse. Back. Vicious body shots, as you just saw. He's using a jab. He's coming in. He's using his experience. And, and, and he is. He's, he's His instinct is to fight and come forward, and he's doing some great work and for Rivera to really penetrate it. But I also agree with Boom Boom that was an easy thing to do. Time winding down in round five, scheduled for 12 here in Los Angeles. Not the same type of sustained Ooh, nice right by. When we asked Santa Cruz about his opponent, he said Rivera is explosive. He could catch you with one. With Another right by Santa. Something, but he, he's standing there waiting. Even though we just threw a good right hand left hook, Cruz is just the class act in here right now. And he just, Rivera just got clear out finesse him. He's going to have to hurt him. Let's see if he can, you know, come up with something. Because, uh, you know, he. Body shot by Santa Cruz. Ooh. Rivera came back with a left. Yeah, he did. He got clipped with his own, but Santa Cruz. It's remaining. Round six. He's gonna do right here was that little sweeping right hand all he got to do was just have that drop hand drop a little bit and that gave now here's the here's the hook coming out of the crouch from Rivera it was really nice but again Santa Cruz countered him with the right hand it's back and forth punches strong combination yeah but what I'm saying is I don't know Heidi what's happening in the Santa Cruz corner well, it's really interesting, Kenny. That's straight in the gym, you know, because some guys do in the gym, you start talking to them, they, 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 they haven't taken, oh, that's a good right hand by Santa Cruz. But they, look, at, you haven't seen the referee, you haven't heard from the referee, you know, he's not calling low blows, he's, he's letting these guys fight. And Tom Taylor is one of the great up-and-coming referees. I really like how he's calling this fight, or I should say not calling it. He's going to do that automatically. Um, but right now, it looks like uh, Rivera's getting a little shopped. As we begin round eight, we check in with headshots, body shots, and a hard. He's not really a stiff puncher because he will be out of here by now. All right, thanks, Larry. So Larry did award round one to, through the first seven. Scheduled for 12 for the WBA World Featherweight title bout for Santa Cruz. He's got nine and one against current or former world champs. And I will Cruz. Joe, what does he need to do? Well, bigger, better fighter to do it to Santa Cruz. Yeah, it has to be a bigger fighter to, to... Out right now, and let's see what happens. And then he just moved in. He's fallen short when he moves in. Santa Cruz right now is to get back at him because he's there. He was, he was so big. A little bit more from Rivera in terms of, you know, it's not that he's doing is the in and out, the in and out, mixing up the, the distance. Again, just had a hard time landing it square. A look at the total number of punches landed, 235 for Santa Cruz. Rivera, that's what he's got to do. For 12 here in Los Angeles for the WBA World. Oh, big Terry by Rivera. Good right hand by Rivera. Rivera got caught right there. So I think he's got to pick up where he left off and start, you know, opening up and doing that. Making him and count on your can just pull back out. You know, you throw that right hand and stay in the pot. Chances are, right. But, you know, again, um, Rivera's basically abandoned his jab, too. You know, when you start throwing those lead right hands like that and abandoning your jab. Oh, see, there you go. Now, he got the worst of it. Make a slugfest here. He's trying to land something of significance, but he did get the worst of that last flurry. You see Santa Cruz keeps that head just buried in his chest. He never pokes up his head, get popped. Santa Cruz has thrown over 1,000 punches to this team. We referenced that fight a number of punches over the course of this fight. And, you know, where were we at? 1,600 punches, basically? Uh, he's not into Santa Cruz's punches. We go Santa Cruz, final minute, round 11. Taking his time, he's, he's lulling him in. He wants him to come in. But he let him hit him square that he could hurt him. See? All Santa Cruz has to do is throw out his punches. Carl Frampton, four fights ago, back in July of 20... 108, 101. 
nearly 12. Rivera's going for broke. He has to. Yeah, yeah, his hand got okay on that one. Yeah, that happens every so often, but it goes to show you. you and know, it's 12th and final round. Yeah, Santa Cruz is really going to need uh, to, you know, it's going to take some. Yeah. Chance of Leo from the crowd here in. Rivera said, let's <laughs> go, and they're going at it. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, <laughs> Santa Cruz and Rivera go the distance. Action once again. Yeah, both guys say, yeah, you want to go? You want to go? Let's go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Rivera looked like he was in a hit in a bar room brawl right there at the end. Uh, not exactly the greatest right hand thrown there at the end, but, but you know, look, Santa Cruz was having fun, and he went for it, and he said, hey, let's give the fans the last 10 seconds of this fight. The final challenge like for Santa it. Cruz, 1,273 punches thrown, second most of his career. That's third. Still the WBA featherweight champion of the world, El Famoso Terremoto, Leo Santa Cruz. Beyonce loves